business. Oh, there's so many of them. Come on. What are you running away from? She gave up. They both gave up. Did you ask to be brought into this world? If your parents expect anything from you, tell them to get it in writing. Holy shit. I don't I do not know how I got away with that. I really don't. Who did this? Oh, we're in here, so we're good. Now before I repair it, I'm gonna go back in here and see what it gives me. Midwinter mod. Adds an area effect to the projectile that can freeze multiple enemies. I haven't even used that that often. Alright, let's repair it. Enough dicking around. Well, not the perfect phosphor frequency, but it'll do. Now we won't immediately die of CO2 poisoning the moment we turn the thing on. What else can we add? I need to cool the transformer at the top of the device. This whole thing will overheat. Okay, that should stop it from overheating. Perfect. Now crank it. There. Everything's fixed. We're ready. Let's fire it up and see. What did I tell you? That is awesome. Bad. Juju. There she is. Okay, yeah, so this is like a completely different thing, so. Yeah, see, it's not even here. So I just want to search around because I need some ammo right now. Some of the stuff is still here. All right, let's get out of here now. Let's see what we can find. Wait a minute, what? Accustomed to such strange noises. I, I thought I did enter it. it must be no, because I'm in rapture, dur. My bad. <laughs> Up and running.
Look. You're on the first lady. Um What does this do? It can't be this easy. The First Lady Mark II was built around a particle lift system just like all the buildings in the city. I read all about it in the Columbian Scientific. The particle seated at the top of the structure must be up that lift. Alright, so let's get up that lift. Perfect. Seems like a lot of technology just to float an airship. Comstock never heard of hydrogen. The First Lady Mark I did run on hydrogen. And it was destroyed by a single bullet from a Vox sniper. Unfortunately, the Prophet wasn't on board at the time. Can I open this? Oh, damn, it looks like there was something back there. I saw that, but I thought maybe that was where you had to go. I guess we'll find out. There's probably an audio log or something back there. Or we may end up having to go there later on. If I take the active particle, then the first lady is just a 40 ton paperweight. Best to take the spare. Here we go. Now let's head back through that tear. You honestly expect Atlas to honor his side of the deal? No. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I should... I have to be able to go back there. How do you plan on handling Atlas? into some spliced up maniac he'll make a mistake i just have to be ready to take advantage of it when it happens all for a girl you barely know how well did you know me when you came to columbia nothing but trouble that way best to head straight back to rapture ah uh. pretty lady not finished yet what Open the tear. Power for devices, very expensive. Need for that? Just tell me what you want. Such a wonder something as simple. Lock of hair. Oh, you're not serious. Not your hair, stupid. Think Hodge's secret life. Mud bald, forgotten. In there, hair sample. In jar. Cannot miss it. You get for Sutra. Then everybody friends. Where is his lab? Closed off, past Fink's quarters. Um, you smart lady, you find. God damn it. Should have seen that one coming. Vox Populi, we must have arrived right in the middle of the siege. That means the other you and I are probably inside the... F What's this? On our way up to the First Lady. And what happens if we run into ourselves? We won't. How do you know that? Because we didn't. So what do we do here? Nothing here. I knew it couldn't be that easy. good service but I will not hurt the boy I will see Fink and Comstock burn but I will not hold the son to account for the deeds of his father you've misunderstood us we neither asked you to harm the child nor did we promise that yours would be the hand that would set Comstock's world afire a famous man once said and a famous man shall say I may reach the mountaintop but I fear I shall never visit the valley below but you mean I won't live to see the <sighs> No. It's up to you what matters more. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Someone is coming. She'll arrive, a girl. She must leave. 
a woman. And what makes the difference between a girl and a woman? Blood. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Turn her into a killer? How? Give the girl no choice. And she will be forced to make one. Those two are everywhere. Nobody. Come out, come out. Did it work? Just go. Where are you? <laughs> it's a really handy one, isn't it? Oh yeah. Just, just move on, buddy. It's not worth it. There's a lot of them. Take it. Oh, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> oh, I'm completely out. That one uses a lot. This one barely uses any. This guy gives you uh, firearm upgrades, I think. Have a good chunk of money. Still good. How's that for a woman? Your order promptly. I find your contract terminated, and then the 
living quarters got to be assigned already. I'm sleeping in Fink's bed. I don't know how that happened. The mask protected her. There we go. I could have done it a little better. I accidentally ran. I meant to crouch and mash her. Beat the shit out of her there, but... I didn't do that. Anything here I can take? Oh, a voxophone. Here. There's a war coming. You can smell it in the air. Fear. Hatred. People dying every day. But how many more will suffer if we rise up? Violence begets violence. I know this. I've seen this. The rational mind argues for a peaceful solution to find a common ground, but... What common ground is there to find for a father who watches his child bleed out in the street? How do you deny him his vengeance? I know that fire that burns deep inside. I know it all too well. And when the time comes, will I be able to stay to hand? You can't use the vigors because you're using plasmids. I'll buy two. They're pretty important. I have no money, so. So easy to lose all your money. So damn easy. That way. I'm just gonna do a bit of looking around first. Think. What's over here? It's locked off. Work. Sleep. I'm gonna check it out. What's that thing you just picked up? My guess is that it has something to do with that giant clock out there. And that clock has something to do with opening the door to Fink's lab. How does he sleep like that? Let's pick up the boxophone. It's probably for Fink. Oh no! A current state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled the biological urge to leave one's mark is strong and it is not an impossibility we could instantiate ourselves back in Colombia return to an old life for the possibility of creating new but we died in that world returning would mean giving up part of us take a closer look at the a giant clock sort of looks like the mechanism unlocks certain activities when Fink gives his blessing so what we're stuck waiting for the cuckoo to go off no we've already found the clock we can manually wind it open whatever door we please nice sure seems like a lot of work to lock down a few doors you know, if there's one thing Fink loves it's a lot of work I kind of want to look through everything. Oh, I'm drunk. The last thing you need to do is drink a spirit. Right before you go down to the spirits. Able prophet. Untold prophet. Let me take that. Oh, but it's spelt differently. Interesting. I don't really want to smoke cigarettes. I don't need to. You give the sales pitch. I'll provide the snake oil. 
What's that say? Lacquery? You old... I don't know. Sure to press the rubes. Alright, well, there's nothing else here. Just a little bit of information. Oh, come on. What is considered leisure for him? More work. Sea slugs. Goddamn sea slugs. Could that Oriental have come up with a more inconvenient fuel for his plasmids? If there is a god, and I've seen more evidence to the contrary than in support, you'd think he'd have put Adam into the belly of a nice little seagull or crow. The cost of all these underwater expeditions are murdering my margins. As to the matter of religion, let me place myself in the camp of the agnostic. I pretend to understand the mysteries of the infinite no more than you, Comstock, or anyone else for that matter. But for the sake of argument, let's say this is all one unhappy accident, and we all alone in our toils. Then who would Comstock use to control and shame us with rules that apply only to those without a penny in their pocket? If there were no God, you could rest assured the first deed done by the first rich man would be inventing him. Huh.